Sanjay Hegde, DNA, does that become critical? We are putting up the missing links. Once it is confirmed that the DNA or whatever is found by the police <coughs> or where Aftab takes the police where he allegedly dumped the body, does that in a way become the critical piece? Otherwise, he can easily resile on some of the so-called confessions that he makes under, uh, he will claim under police duress. You need the DNA matching. Absolutely. Whatever he's told the police is of no use, as Udwal has already told you. They are not admissible in any court. What the police have to basically do is first establish the corpus delicti, mm -hmm. that there has indeed been a crime committed. How do you do that? You say uh, they, they are right now searching for blood stains. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are searching for pieces of flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, if the DNA there matches that of Shraddha and that you would have to establish the chain through Shraddha's parents who are currently alive. So, so that once you say that what has been recovered are human remains, those human remains uh, pertain to Shraddha, then a, a certain portion of the police job is done. You, you would then have to also tie in that Shraddha was in fact with Aftab. Mm -hmm. She was last seen together. There would be a forensic uh, uh, evidence of uh, uh, electronic forensic evidence mm -hmm. uh, that they, that their phones were in close proximity, that they came here uh, together. And that's how an entire case built on circumstantial evidence, what? a chain of circumstantial evidence which proves, which inevitably points to the guilt of the accused mm -hmm. and admits of no other conclusion. That is why that's the kind of case that has to be built. Even if one of those links in the chain breaks, mm -hmm. The if, if the defense is successful, then the, uh, at the trial, mm -hmm. it, may, it may not end in the conviction. You know, we've seen Ujwal Nikam in a number of high-profile cases that it starts with a lot of uh, belief that the case will lead to a swift prosecution, and yet the case drags on. Uh, is that a concern you believe in, in such cases? Uh, I can go back to, and I referred to this last night as well, the Tandoor case of Sushil Sharma, uh, we've referred to other cases in uh, uh, Mumbai, Neeraj Grover, a TV <coughs> executive who was also killed in, similar, uh, in a similar fashion. And in most instances, the accused gets life and in some instances eventually is also bailed out. What's your sense in a case like this? Will the police <coughs> really have to work extra hard to ensure, since the murder allegedly happened in May, we are in uh, November, does that make the police's <coughs> task more difficult? Pradeep, of course, police will require to work very hardly, not only very hardly, but they will require to collect the minute, minute evidence, like Aptab has used various chemicals. So they will require to hold, the, they will require to find out the people mm -hmm. from whom Aptab had purchased the chemical. They will require to hold the test addition parade of Aptab from such shopkeepers. Thirdly, then the burden shifts on the Aptab for what purpose he had purchased the chemicals. It is for Aptab to show. See, in law, uh, at some time, mm -hmm. the burden, all, at some time, in very rare cases, the burden shifts on the accused because the particular fact within the exceptional knowledge of the accused. Now, if police will successfully point out that the dead remains, that the body parts of Shraddha had found at the instance of accused Aptab, and some body parts were found in the freeze, and if they will connect the chain, then it is for the Aptab to establish as to how he killed uh, Shraddha. Therefore, I agree with Sanjay. Even, even in the absence, that even in the absence, the Ujwal, in the sorry, chain of the circumstances, so even in the absence, will get the benefit. Even in the absence of the murder weapon, will it be for the police to prove beyond reasonable doubt, or for Aptab to, uh, to be able to refute the police's version of events? Razdeep, the murder weapon is not necessary. What I earlier said, the corpus delicti is not must in the cases of the circumstantial evidence. Without the corpus delicti, without the dead body, we can point out and establish by conclusive proof that the accused has committed the crime and is responsible for the crime. Therefore, murder weapon, it hardly makes any difference. Mm -hmm. Because suppose the accused throws the murder weapon in a river, how police will get into the murder weapon? So that murder, so it is not necessary that recovery of murder weapon is a must in each and every crime.